Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do an out-of-box introduction of the new 7 GFC 173-R bait casting reel that is actually comes from St. Croix. So St. Croix has created a new brand called 7 and here's the box of it and uh, it's, it's, they're doing casting reels and spinning reels. I happen to pick up a, uh, a GF casting reel to give it a shot. Hello, I'm Joe Michaels, the owner of Fishpoint, and this is our media channel. Welcome. About eight years ago, I stopped fishing, and boy, have things changed since then. New boats, new motors, new electronics, trolling motors are new, right? New techniques, new baits, a lot of things have changed. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take all that new stuff to me. And I'm going to apply it to my deep knowledge of Arizona bass fishing. And we're going to go do this together. We're going to go out on the water and we're going to catch fish here in Arizona. And remember, like everybody else, please hit the subscription button. Subscriptions are free. They don't cost anything. So that just helps you get notified when new videos are out. And we're going to make a bunch of videos. And that helps me um, get my channel up to other viewers. So I appreciate it. So remember, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Because there's nothing better for me, the, the producer of these shows, to know which kind of shows you guys really like. This GF cast and reel has a price point of $120. That is probably right in the sweet spot of an entire casting uh, reel market, right? It's, it's not that super high-end stuff. It's not the super low-end. It's probably the sweet spot. And I have to give St. Croix slash 7 uh, huge credit for attacking that market right out of the box, okay? I mean, the first reel they introduced, they're going after probably the mass market. That's um, very incredible. In the high-tech industry where I came from, uh, companies would introduce new products generally at the high end because there were less customers, they could charge more as they worked out the cost and, and, and reduce their costs over time. And if there were issues, a lot of the times the high end buyers, if you will, were sometimes more um, ready to accept some, some issues as they were the early adopters. Well, I think Seven is going right to the heart of it. That means they have confidence in their quality of their reels. Now this reel has four bearings with one roller bearing, okay? It is a very um, small reel, so if it's, a, if, it, if it's a 173 size, I'm not sure what size that is, is that a 70 size? Because it, to me, seems like a 70 size reel, okay? It's nice and small, and I like that. I like that about it. What, what's also really interesting is, is the, the, the handle is very nicely done, okay? It's got a, it's got a nice, width here so you can actually you know give it some power the, the the handles are nice to hold on to the reel is small it has the braking system over here as all reels have to have and again it's, it seems very sturdy very solid reel i generally don't buy 120 dollar reels i generally buy mm, three you know 280 dollar reels let's say somewhere in that 250 225 to 280 maybe 300 they generally have more bearings, okay, than this has only four, but I still wanted to give this a shot because if this reel really works out well, having four bearings, then I can't wait for seven to introduce reels with more bearings as, as I'm sure they will in the future. So there's a, there's a couple things <clears throat> about this reel that I really like. I do like its size. Because of that, I've decided that I'm gonna use it, put it on a flipping stick because it's so small and light. I don't need as much line when, when I'm pitching with a flipping stick, so that's gonna work incredibly well for me. I am gonna pair this up with the, um, one of their two flipping sticks in the uh, Legend Tournament Bass Casting line, and I've already used that, to, and I, I like it, so I, I've caught one fish with this reel, and it works just fine. It was a three pounder. It was a, it was a nice fish to catch. Um, so I think this is gonna work really well. Because of, I got a seven two to one speed ratio, I believe is what I got. So I can I can I'm going to also use this maybe for some other applications as I as I use this reel moving forward. Because I'm going to try to figure out if I can you know in a sense get by with only four bearings if that feels how it feels over time. And that's the point. These reels have to be used over time to get the sense of their 
actual quality and their build quality. This reel has all the necessary things. It has braking, uh, braking system, you know, magnetic braking system you can adjust. It, of course, has a, another uh, braking system here on the side that helps um, where you set it to keep for the spool. It's the spool brake. You know, you put it on one setting and leave it there. Of course, it has a, a nice adjustable um, drag system, okay? How, how is that drag system going to compare? Don't know. But it's, it's quite all right. There's a couple of things that I like about this reel that's interesting that, are, that are, I call marginal utilities or utilities that are on the margin that I think will separate this reel at $120 from some of the market. One of the things is a little line catch here. It's, it's, it allows you to hook up the line. So when you want to take it off a rod or you just cut the line off and reel it up, you can put it right on the line hook. It's right there. Um, I've, I've been trying to, I've been using this and I got to learn how to get it underneath there. I've got 18 pound test line on here now and it, it doesn't go underneath particularly careful, easily, let's say, but I got it on there and it, and it works. Um, it, it looks like it might be fragile. I don't know how long it will last. I hope it lasts a long, long time because I think it's a handy little feature. But so that's something to be talked about in the future. One of the other aspects of this, it's probably hard to see here, but it has a line uh, uh, gauge, if you will. You can you can set to what kind of line size you have. It has, um, I believe, 10, 12, 15, and 20 pound line numbers for, for monofilament or fluorocarbon. And I think it has 20, 30, 40, 50 and 65 setting for a braided line, right? So you can go in and you can adjust it and put it, there's a little marker and you set it to the, to the mark so you know what, what you got going, okay? Very handy. I think that's another margin utility that, that I think is gonna be very useful to everybody. What I do now is I have a little machine that, I, I, that has, makes, prints out stickers and I, and I actually stick it right, right in the same spot where they got the line uh, gauge, if you will, the line marker gauge, whatever you, they wanna call it. I put, you know, there, that's where I put the sticker. So this is probably a better suitable uh, application of that idea than stickers. But nonetheless, I think it's very useful. If this reel holds up in the, in, over a period of time at the $120 price point with these little extra features, great drag system, if it has it, I don't know, but I'm sure it does, I think this reel is gonna do very well. And I think you're gonna be very happy with this reel. So what comes with the reel in the seven box? Here. Um, one is a, a reel pouch. You know, obviously, it's it's simple. It's clean. It's you know, you just put your reel in there, tighten it down, and you protect your reel if you don't want to have it on a rod. So that's kind of handy. That's a nice little feature. It has a sticker. Okay. <laughs> now, I, I think this is quite smart. I think companies need to do more of this kind of stuff. Putting stickers in their products, it, whatever it costs, it's probably a great idea. People like putting their stickers on their back of their pickup truck windows, it's, it's fantastic. So I think that's a great, great thing for them to do. Of course, it has a little, little. Um, it's not a manual, manual, it's more of a way to, where you go ahead and register for register it for its warranty. So it, that's what comes in the box, pretty simple. And, and then here's the reel itself. Initially, I'm gonna use this rod on a flipping stick. So I have uh, one of the, a St. Croix um, turn, legend tournament flipping rod right here and here it is you can see it it's six foot I'm sorry it's seven foot six it's a heavy action with a moderate fast tip it's called it's this flipping that's the name of the rod so if you notice when I put it on here and it goes on pretty quickly because of the great rod design that this is quite um, it, it's really nice it's nice and it's a light reel because it's a light reel it allows me to this whole big long flipping stick is lighter. That's a really concern to me. So um, I'm gonna really be happy to start using this uh, reel on this flipping rod. Another thing too, because it does have less bearings that I'm a little uncertain about, is that when you're flipping and pitching, you're not, you're cycling the bait a lot, but you're not cycling very far, you know, 20 feet maybe, sometimes a little more. So having a reel that is light, compact, very sturdy. It's hard to explain how this rod, I'm sorry, it's hard to explain how this reel, uh, how sturdy it feels because of its construction, of its outer body construction. Its texture is really nice. It, it, it helps you grip the reel. So that's awesome when you get it on a rod, it, it's pretty nice. So, and being a smaller size, you know, less line, you can see there, I'm gonna get her, 
being a smaller size and less line, it's, it's perfect for lipid and pitching capabilities. So that's, that's how I intend to use it to start with. What I want to do uh, is, you know, maybe try for a buzz bait or something with a higher speed reel just to see how, how it works. But, I, you know, sometime in the future I'll be able to do that. If you like this video, hit the like button because there's nothing better for me, the, the producer of these shows, to know which kind of shows you guys really like.